Hey, welcome to the new film room for this week, week 11 of the NFL. And today, it took me a minute to decide who I was actually going to do this all 22 film room breakdown on. But after I watched the Saints and Falcons game, I made my decision. And it was easy for me. Very, very easy. Taysom Hill, the Saints quarterback who Sean Payton decided to go with other than Jameis Winston when Drew Brees has gone down with, what, 11 busted ribs? My goodness. Now, on the surface, you're looking at the stats, he looked like he had a heck of a game. But let's go into the game itself and find out how good he actually was. Was he as good as the stats say? Or was there question marks about him? I want to know. I figured you want to know. Let's get into it. Right now. Second drive of the game for Taysom Hill. And this is his first egregious error in this game. And I mean, it's agreed. It's bad. It's bad. Okay. He he loses a chance not only for a first down pass, but a monster game. Possible touchdown, uh, depending upon what Emmanuel Sanders does. But let's watch the play. See what happens. He takes a snap. He's looking around. Takes off a little bit of pressure on the left side. Gets four yards on the scramble. All right, so it's a four-yard play. So you're like, how can this be egregious if it's a positive gain, four yards? Well, let's watch what happens and what he misses on this play. Because what he misses is terrible. I mean, absolutely terrible. Because he should have thrown the ball to two different guys on this play. Now, as we watch, let's get through the first two, three seconds, right? Right here. Bam. Keep going. Now. Right here. At this point, this is where he should be throwing the football. Two and a half to three seconds into the play, the ball should be being released. And this play design is made for two and a half to three seconds to get rid of the football. Now, obviously, he can't throw the football up here to this receiver because why? Eh, he's covered. And the corner's got good inside leverage. Can't throw to him because he's not even moving. He's got a linebacker right behind him. Obviously, can't throw to him because, well, I mean, there's a guy with hands all over him. Well, first off, well, what about him? He's already moving this way. The guy covering him doesn't have the speed to keep up. He could throw this right here because, as you see, the corner's back is turned. He could catch this ball, probably get the edge, and probably a first down before the corner's able to turn back and make the tackle. But the bigger play to watch is Emmanuel Sanders, because as you see, he's already got inside leverage. He's already got the inside leverage on the cornerback, and he's planting right now. And Taysom is staring him down right now. Right now. So he's already got inside leverage, and he's planting, which means he should know anticipation is paramount to be a starting NFL quarterback. So he's got to anticipate if he's planting with the inside edge already, if he throws the football here, he's going to get the football and uncontested, an uncontested catch right here because he'll have separation from this corner really, really quick. And then Sanders, we all know what Sanders could do after the catch. He's one of the best yak yards receivers in the NFL. The only guy that's going to be able to stop him is this safety, right? Right now, because none of these guys are going to get him. And this guy's going to be too far behind. The only guy is this safety. I, I'll put money on. I'll take Sanders over Falcon safety any day, all day, twice on Sunday. Let's watch what happens. He waits. He turns. He starts to feel a little bit of pressure coming off the left side. Turns out. Now, right here, he could still throw to him. Right here on the outside edge, he could catch it. Damn near get a first down. Or look at the open space for Sanders. As I said, anticipate, buddy. Anticipate. Sanders is wide open right now. Now, the safety now, because he waited and he rolled out this way and did not anticipate the throw earlier, the safety's got better leverage with he throws this football. Yeah, Sanders will probably catch it about right here if he throws it right now. 
but the safety would be about right here as composed to where Sanders would catch it right here. When the ball's caught, Sanders would get tackled immediately afterwards. But instead, Hill decides, you know what? I'm going to go with my gut instinct for what I've been doing since I've been in the NFL and use my legs. I'm going to pump fake to try to draw this uh, guy off of me, but it don't work, and he's just going to tackle me for a whole four-yard gain. So Taysom Hill took a four-yard gain over a possible first down or a, even a, a big play, 26, 30, even a touchdown play had he anticipated the throw. Now, that's his first NFL start, so I'm going to give him a little bit of leeway. I think that uh, the more experience you get starting in the NFL, the better you're going to get as as uh, your career progresses. But that is a very, very bad decision on Taysom Hill. Same drive. And if you look, you're about where the position would be if he had thrown the ball to Emmanuel Sanders earlier, okay, well, that he missed. Now, on this play, he shows the complete opposite of what he showed in the first clip. He showed anticipation, and it's beautiful. So I think he learned from earlier, anticipate where your guy's going to be. Let's watch the play. Now he takes a snap. He looks to his right. No one there. Looks to the left. Oh, wow. Troutman. Nice. Nice. Now, let's watch this in slow-mo because what he does here is gorgeous. What he does on this play is absolutely beautiful. He looks out here to the right side after this snap, going through his progressions, and noticing neither guy is open. Neither guy is going to get open. The wide receivers do not have the position on this play to throw the football. Now, he looks. He looks over there. No, no, not good, not good. He looks over here, and he sees that Troutman is making his cut right now. Now, he's got a guy underneath and a guy over the top. But he knows that Troutman's going to come this way, and these defenders are going to continue because this defender is following uh, the running back out. So this is going to be an open throwing lane right here. It already is. He's already got the ball cocked. Look, he's got the ball cocked, and he hasn't even completely made his stop yet. The guy's not open. He knows that if he throws the football here, Troutman's going to be open and have room to run up this direction. This is an absolute gorgeous anticipated throw to Troutman, who's open by five yards all the way around him, all the way around him, and is able to turn back upfield and get this first down. This is gorgeous anticipation on a short throw by Taysom Hill. Beautiful play, and I hope to see more of this as I watch the film. You're still here? Awesome. Thanks for watching this stream. Please, if you have a moment of your time, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so you're notified next time I go live. And if you got a few extra seconds, hit that description down there below the video and check out all the places that you can follow me, whether it be Sportscaster here on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and there's a couple places where you can help donate to my channel. That way I can continue to bring all this content to you. Thank you for your support. Now, let's get back to the video. On this play, Taysom Hill makes another error. On this play, he's not looking all the way around and seeing defenders. And he misses an opportunity for a touchdown. This play drive ends two plays later in a field goal. He has an opportunity for a touchdown right here on this play but he misses it, and the touchdown is right in his line of vision, and he focuses too much on one receiver. Granted, if there is a wide receiver that you want to focus on, it's Michael Thomas, but not on this play. Let's watch the play. Takes a snap, looks. Oh, my goodness. What in the world, homie? All right, so let's watch the play. 
going into slow motion. Now, first off, if he's going to throw, he's looking at the running back right now. And he knows that if he throws this ball out here to the running back, Alvin Kamara, he's going to catch it. And all he's got to do is make one move, make a guy miss. And I like Alvin Kamara's chances to get in the end zone for a touchdown. But he doesn't take that shot, which I would have took it. But right now, you got Michael Thomas coming across. If he threw this ball right now, right here in this window, he's got a linebacker on him. That's a touchdown. What, what's he do? He looks. Now, now he sees Michael Thomas coming around the top. Stops, waits. Now, he's throwing this football, and he's got to throw it on this line right here to get to him. The problem is he doesn't see the Sam. He doesn't watch the Sam. The Sam let Kamara go and is in zone, sitting in zone. So he's watching his eyes. You can't make this pass because he's watching the eyes. He's going to reach over here and snap you. He's going to slap that ball right out of the air. But right on the same line, look over here at Jared Cook. Jared Cook has got the edge. All he's got to do is come around. If he pump fakes this and throws the Cook now, right out here, that's a touchdown all day, baby. That's a touchdown. Instead, he threw it over here to Thomas. Man, Thomas had double coverage on him. You can't do that. Cook, easy touchdown. Easy touch. If he just threw this ball over here, easy touchdown. He's seen him coming around the backside. He should have thrown that. You don't throw that in a tight window. When it's your first NFL start. Where you have another guy out there in the back of the end zone. Cook, who's been making plays for the team all year. My goodness. Come on, guy. Choose who you're throwing the football to. I get you like Michael Thomas with a linebacker on him. I would like that too. But there is too many bodies in the area. Don't throw when there's too many bodies. And especially... When one of those bodies, look, I mean, this this is an interception waiting to happen when he throws this football. Too many people here. Too tight of a window for this ball. But Cook, Cook, this is one-on-one. There's no one but the guy that's covering him. Make the throw out here. Let Jared Cook use his big body to make that, make that catch. This could have been an easy touchdown, but instead... They end up settling for a field goal. Here's a play where Hill shows complete composure in the pocket under duress. And he does an amazing job at this play. Leading a receiver, uh, waiting for him to hit the open spot in the field, even with a guy barreling down on him. Let's watch this play. This is gorgeous by Taysom. Here you got Thomas in motion. He comes up. He does a little, little slant route. Oh, good. Right as he's getting hit. Nice pass to Thomas. My goodness. Now, let's watch this again. Now, first off, when he fakes this play action, what that does is it brought the linebackers over here. They brought them up and this way, which opens this side of this, opens the middle of the field. It puts a little bit of space right here between them and the safety. So you got more room right here. And look how much, look how, I mean, the corner's giving Thomas all kind of space. And he's got the inside inside leverage on a post route? Really? This is all day. Taysom's going to turn around and see, hey, I know Thomas is getting ready to run this post right, right up here. And look at the space. Now what he does is he's going to wait. He's going to wait for this go route to clear this out on the post. And he sees number 55, he's barreling down on him. So he's got to wait until the last second. He's got to wait for him to bring that corner down as far as he can because Thomas is breaking now. Thomas is breaking this post right now. 
So he's waiting, 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 waiting. Look how look how long he waits to start to throw this football before number 55. He waited as long as he can to let that receiver on that go route drag that corner out of the play. And the safety has to turn and cover him. The safety has to, which opens up even more space here. This is as good a play all the way around that any quarterback in the NFL could make right now in the NFL. I wouldn't expect better from Aaron Rodgers, Patrick Mahomes, Russell Wilson. It doesn't matter. This right here is beautifully done all the way around. The patience, the the way he used the play action, the way he he's uh, just completely calm and collected under pressure. Now, he throws this football, bam, right at the last second, getting hit right as he throws the football because he waited. Waited, 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 and he led him. He led Thomas well out there to catch his football. Thomas obviously catches the football, has room out in front. The safety's way out here. Now, the only thing I can say about this pass is that he could have been a little more accurate, but because he waited so long, he didn't. He, he <laughs> it's hard to throw a really accurate pass under the pressure that he's on under right now. Now, he steps, 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 wait, 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 throw. But that's still a beautiful pass. Yes, Thomas has to jump up there to catch the football. If he didn't have to jump up, if he could have caught it in mid-stride, he's probably gone down the field. But either way, with that kind of pressure, that throw, that that's just gorgeous. That's just gorgeous. My goodness. That's the play of the game so far that I could tell from Taysom Hill in this game. That That is just beautiful. Beautiful. Heck of a throw for a guy who's considered to be, I mean, not just a throw, but the whole play, as I'm explaining, the whole play is just gorgeous for someone that's young, that no one thought could be a starting quarterback, that is just a gadget guy. That right there shows he has every tool in the book to be a starting quarterback in the NFL. With all the beauty of the last play that I showed, this one right here, this is indecision. This is That's all this play comes down to is just the indecision of Taysom Hill. Not enough experience to realize when he needs to get rid of the football. You hold that football too long, you've got to get rid of the football. And there are opportunities to throw this football, and he just is indecisive. Let's watch the play. Take a snap, looks. I see two or three places he could throw the football instead. He holds on to it too long. Holds on to it way too long. Now, lots of protection early on. He's got great protection right here. Right now, he's got great protection. Beautiful protection. And as of right now, he's got two guys he can throw the football to. Two of them. Do you see them? And he's looking in that direction right now. If he wait, he could pump fake this way. He could either throw it here, and it's going to be a contested catch right here because, you know, the safety will come down and hit him right about the time the ball gets there. Or... Like I say, he could either throw it or he could pump fake it real quick and throw it out here because in a half a second, he's open. You lead the, you lead. Now, he slows down on this route. But if Taysom throws this football out here right now, just leads him, it'll make him run to the football. It'll keep separation from the corner and he'll be able to catch the football because the linebacker's not getting to him. The linebacker's standing still, and he's already in motion. He's he's moving. So if he just led him right now out here so that he would have to run to the football to catch it, that's all day, baby, all day. 
And that's a that's a catch. He'll probably catch it, turn up field. Now the corner will probably tackle him. They know he'll be like two down, like two yards short of the first down. But he'll have gotten a, a big positive yardage in this play. Instead, he still waits, waits, waits. Now he's got another throw he can make. Right now. Now this is a tighter throw. Don't get me wrong. This is a tighter throw. But he could throw this bad boy right here. He'd have to he'd have to rock it. Taysom's got the arm. He's got a strong arm. And if he just hummed that football, it'd be high enough for him not to reach. Him, on the other hand, he would have to make this move over here. He'd have to throw that as hard as he can right here. And he might have a chance to swat it down. But he wouldn't. Because the ball would be up too high. You throw it a little high. But not too high. In a place only the receiver can catch. And you rocket that ball up here. And he could get that ball out. Now you think. Obviously. This guy out here, there's no way. You can't throw it to him because that safety will, will break out in front of him and intercept it. But because of the indecision, he holds on to the ball too long and he gets sacked for a three-yard loss. Sacked. You cannot be that indecisive. And on top of that, buddy, you're outside the hash marks right now. You're at the hash marks. Throw the ball away. Throw the ball away. Don't lose three yards on this play. Throw it away. I know you think you can handle. I know you think you can handle a linebacker one-on-one -on -one in the open field. But you're a quarterback and you're behind the line of scrimmage. Remember what you're doing. You're not a running back. This ball was not handed off to you. This ball was not passed to you on a screen play. You are the quarterback. You are going to lose yardage. You have the option to throw the football away and just take a loss of down rather than a three-yard loss on top of it. Taysom's got to realize, get out of that that whole uh, thought process that, hey, you know, um, I'm, I'm that gadget guy. He's got to remember, I'm the quarterback. I have to play like a quarterback. Yes, I love Taysom Hill one-on-one -on -one in the open field against a linebacker. I've taken nine out of ten times, but not here, but not on this situation. you got to throw that football away, my guy. you got to throw that football away. Hey, guess what? Taysom Hill shows good good decision. He, he, uh, he makes a quick, decisive decision, throws the ball hard and accurate, and knows what he's doing on this play. This is, oh my God, this is such an up and down game for Taysom Hill. There's more positives. It seems like in this game, he learns from mistakes as he's playing. And that's why experience is so important for a young quarterback in the NFL. Let's watch this play as it unfolds. Got the motion man, Sanders, turns, steps, one, Less than two seconds and that ball is out. Less than two seconds and that ball is out. And that is a really good deep pass. Not like deep, deep, but accurate, strong, decisive. My goodness. Now watch this. He uses this play action. And he's throwing the football. He knows right now. It's about one to one and a half seconds into the play. Look how deep the center fielder is playing. Look how deep. I mean, he's 22 yards off the line of scrimmage. 22 yards. He knows at the 40, Thomas is going to stop and turn. He's already cocked and ready to throw the football. Thomas is making this cut. If Thomas does not slip here, he throws that football. Thomas slips. He throws the football right here. Now, the, the placement of this football is beautiful. Okay? Let's go back to the where he's at as he's slipping. He launches this football. He puts his football here. Why? Because no way can this corner 
No way can this guy make a play on the ball. No way. Not 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 when he's got outside leverage. Thomas slips. If he did not slip, there's a chance he catches this football and curls around the safety and could be gone. But he slipped. He had to reach out, come back for it, catch it, secure. Either way, that pass, watch Hill's entire throwing motion in this play. It is Perfect. I mean, perfect. Even the handoff, what is it, this fake? That's gorgeous. He holds the ball back. That's a good play action fake right there. He stops. He looks. He plants those legs. He puts, uh, hold on. We got to go back. We got to go back. Watch how he plants and puts all the power of this throw on his back leg right here he brought that leg up right here he'll he'll, he'll hop forward he'll plant that back right leg and push and right here this is where all the strength is coming from right now all the strength of this pass yes he's throwing with his arm but there is so much extra strength to this pass because of that push off with his back right leg right here And he launches a rocket. A rocket. Perfect. There is no way anyone makes this catch other than Michael Thomas. And if Thomas hadn't slipped, he wouldn't be on the ground right now. He would be catching this football and curling around the safety. That, it's a perfect pass by Taysom Hill. Perfect pass. I'm telling you, I know that Taysom had some parts in this game where he looked bad, but there are other parts of this game where he just looks so good. And this throw right here and the throw earlier, it just goes to show that he's learning during the game. He's learning during the game. And that shows great Great progression for a quarterback. I think that the next time that he goes out there and starts, he's going to be even better than what he was this game. Now, it's the Atlanta Falcons defense. So, take it take it as, as it is because it is the Atlanta Falcons defense and they're used to giving up big yards. So, you know, wait until we see Taysom Hill against a good pass defense. But here, he's making the right reads at the right time and... He's learning from the mistakes when he becomes indecisive. He's learning from his mistakes about uh, looking players off and throwing the football and accuracy, waiting, patience in the pocket, things like that. He's learning as he plays. And that is something that you can't ask for more than that from a quarterback in the NFL. I can't wait to see him in the next game. Now, I understand why Sean Payton went with Taysom Hill over Jameis Winston when Drew Brees went down with those cracked ribs. I completely understand. He knows Taysom Hill. He understands what Taysom Hill is good at as compared to what he's not good at and is able to game plan and form a playbook around him against a a team that they know very well in the Atlanta Falcons. I believe that... This is not necessarily a slight against Jameis Winston. It's just they know Taysom so much more than they know Jameis. Do I think that uh, Taysom has earned another start for Sean Payton and the New Orleans Saints? Absolutely. I think that he showed a lot of promise in this game. And I believe that uh, in his next game, he's going to provide even more spectacular plays and improve on that decision-making and and quickness in making those decisions. Uh, I think he needs to learn how to throw the football away still, uh, rather than just think, hey, you know what, I can make a play with my legs when I have to. Sometimes just getting rid of the football is a good idea, all right, especially when you're already outside the hashes and you've got somebody on you close proximity. Sometimes taking the loss on downs is better than taking a loss on downs and a loss on yards. So I want to thank everybody that joined me here on SportsCaster as I broke down 
Taysom Hill. I got 53 people watching live in this 26 minute video. I want to thank John 84, Comfy Socks, Bang the Drum, Drummond, and Texas Guy Texas 12 for watching me live here on Sportscaster. If you want to catch these live film rooms, all you got to do is go to Sportscaster, S P O R T S C A S T R dot com, and make a profile. It's very, very simple. You go up to the uh, top right hand corner of the screen on your phone or right on your computer. You click make a profile. It takes you 10, 15 seconds. Uh, you can link it to your Insta or your Twitter, your Facebook, an email, whatever. No time at all. Just bam, 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 done. And it's free. That way, when you see streams, not only from myself, but other people here on Sportscaster, the other official NFL podcasters, analysts here on Sportscaster, like myself, Ray Rout, Joe Nubo, Adam Armbrecht, and Keith McPherson, you can give us a follow. You can join in the chat. If you if you talk in the chat, that means that we can have a conversation with you live on stream. Don't forget, hit that like button, share this to your favorite social media, and until next time, as usual, I'm Lawrence Owen, Colts Law, Another film room breakdown this week, week 11 in the 2020 season, Taysom Hill. Have a good one. Just because a guy's a player is not a household name, doesn't mean we can't make him a household name. 